In this video, I'm going to provide you with a different idea for a stair tread. And that, of course, would be some type of a mitered edge tread. And I've seen this on a video. And a lot of times I come across these videos and I think, uh, wait a minute, this, uh, this isn't going to work. And I think that's where I'm at here with this one. And the reason why would be the bearing point at the edge of the treads. You can see it just barely, barely on here, where this one down here is full bearing on the edges. So this is the first thing I don't like about this type of design. And uh, of course, here I put a gap in the center. I don't know if you would build it with a gap or without a gap. The gap would allow water to flow through. And uh, this one here wouldn't. This would be a, uh, I, I don't want to say this would be a debris collector because both of these can collect debris. Um, over time, the lumber could shrink and you could get a gap. Over time, the lumber could shrink here and you could get a larger gap. Just something to think about. Now let's go ahead and take a look at an idea that I'm not happy with, but I wanted to bring it up just in case some of you want to use it. Um, and that would be attaching some type of lumber to the bottom of the tread to make it a little stronger. Now I believe something like this could end up trapping moisture. Any moisture that falls between the gaps or the cracks here is going to remain at the bottom without a place to drain off. Now you could always drill some holes in the edges. That might help for something like this. I'm not going to suggest this won't work, but be aware of the fact that it could trap moisture and then rot the lumber out a little sooner than you'd like. Um, you could always use a metal mending plate or some straps. This might work. Over time, the screws or nails uh, could loosen up. That wouldn't be a good thing. And, uh, and then, of course, metal could rust also. I think using screws would be a good idea for the corners. Just make sure that they are not going to hit each other. Make sure that one is a little higher than the other. I've seen people before that mark this and they center the screws at each edge. If you are going to do that, you just need to angle one down and the other up. That would be fine. If you're going to pre-drill some holes, you could actually center them. Just wanted to make you aware of that. But you can see here where this is going to create a nice tight spot on the corner, but it's not going to help the center out here. So we can see here this could actually move up and down over time. Now you're probably thinking about why not use some adhesive or glue something in here. And I'm not a big fan using any adhesives in areas, especially on the exterior of a stairway. On the interior, go for it. Exterior stairs, the lumber shrinks a little faster and um, the, the glue or adhesive doesn't seem to do as much. So you can use it if it makes you feel better, but it just might not give you the results you're looking for. However, using dowels like I have here, pre-drilling some holes, sliding some dowels in, or using a biscuit uh, joint, some type of connection that's going to allow this to remain stronger over time, you could see that if the lumber was going to sh um, separate or move a little bit, then and there was a gap here, then the dowel would still, the dowel would still be in there to um, give it some strength. So we just slide the dowels in, and then make sure you have matching holes on the other side. Slide it in, and this should give you a nice or a sturdier. Um, stair tread, especially with the screws in the corners. And you can always put as many dowels as you want in this area also, or biscuits if you're going to use a biscuit joiner. The last idea I came up with would be to move the stringers in a little bit. In this example, I moved it in two inches. And you can see that it provides you with a little more of the stair tread to uh, bear on the stringer. And you could always move it over a little farther. If I move this in another inch, then it would it would uh, provide the stair treads with almost full bearing. So um, this might be a good idea. This is two inches. You might need to move it in three, depending on your tread size. But you can see right here where you're going to have more of an area to um, nail, put some screws in. And you might not even need with something like this. You might not 
need the dowels anymore. Um, I would use the screws in the corners to keep them together. But uh, you might not need anything in the center. So anyway, that is it for the video. Before you build any mitered steps like this, um, even though they look good, you might not... Uh, you might think twice about it or at least put a little more thought into building them. And it really is a neat looking stair tread, I do have to say. So my biggest concern would be the weakness, the bearing points, the center that could be a little weaker if you don't put the dowels in it. And of course, the miter joints that could um, start to separate over time um, as the wood dries out.